This video is about a low protein diet for kidney disease where you don't have to use keto analogs of essential amino acids or essential amino acids to get your protein. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, and more importantly, a kidney survivor. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe where we give lots of great information of how to take care of your kidney health. Now, if you see our other videos, we talk a lot about the low protein diet. It's getting very popular now with a lot of the recent big organizations in the United States recommending it for kidney health, and it's the most therapeutic diet I've ever seen. One of the problems is that you can become protein deficient, and then you have to take supplements uh, to either essential amino acids or keto analogs of essential amino acids, which is a medical food, to prevent going protein deficient. Now, you can try a low protein diet without these products first. You're just gonna be using the very high end of the low protein dietary amounts for the day. Now, this recommendation is the higher end that they recommend in the KDO QI, that's the updated 2020, um, 2020 edition of all the clinical nutrition updates and current modern day uh, nutrition practices for kidney disease. And I'm gonna reference a study from 2018 in the Brazil Journal of Nephrology, where they use low protein diets using this protein amount very effectively where people didn't need to get those other supplements. And what it showed in that study was people were able to increase their GFR a small amount. They also had better cholesterol, uh, they also lost weight, and had better metrics of kidney health overall. So if you're gonna do the low protein diet and you're not looking to go spend money on the essential amino acids and keto analogs of essential amino acids, and if you don't know what those are, we have multiple other videos on our channel to check out. So look at the whole series about low to very low protein diets and how to do it safely if you're a candidate. So if you wanna do it, but you're not looking to do those extra pills and spend that money, you have to use the highest ranges of the low protein diet, which is considered uh, 0.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight a day. So I'm gonna bring out a, a board here so you can see this all written out so you can figure it for yourself, okay? So this is what we have here, wrote this up. So you can uh, see that, okay? So that's the low protein diet without keto analogs or essential amino acids. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 0.6 grams of protein per day per kilogram of body weight. So if you don't know what your uh, kilogram in body weight is, so most of the people in the US aren't gonna know this because we don't use the metric system, you take your body weight. So I took a 180 pound person and you gotta find out what the body weight is in kilograms. So you take the 180 pounds and you divide it by 2.2 pounds because 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. So that 180 person divided it by 2.2 pounds and that's 81 kilograms. Now at 81 kilograms, you know your body weight in kilograms. So now you divide that by 0.6 and that gives you the amount of protein per day of 49 grams of protein for this person. That's 180 pounds. So take a look at that. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just comment and we'll go through it. Uh, we can help people uh, calculate their protein amount based on that 0.6 in the comment section, but that would be the high end of the low protein diet, which still gives you lots of benefits without using the keto analogs of essential amino acids or essential amino acids. So, that's what you would do. So use that calculation. And that's the highest end. That's shown tremendous benefit. And it's also shown uh, that you can have 49 grams of protein today for a person that's 180 pounds. That's quite a bit. Ideally, you wanna make all those proteins uh, vegan, vegetarian sources, okay? Um, they're gonna be much better for you, but it still allows you a lot of protein. So that's the high end of the protein calculation for what's considered a low protein diet. You don't have to go out and get all these other supplements and other things. Um, but you know, always run it by your doctor, your medical team, make sure everything is you're stable, you can do it okay. And when you do that low protein diet, you're counting all the protein. So you're counting your grains. A lot of people uh, tend to forget about grains have protein in them. So you wanna count everything, including those grains. Thanks for watching everybody to your best kidney health. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe and best wishes. Bye.